Saint Paul writes in 1 Corinthians that love never fails. However, in today's gospel, our Lord states that whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. So when does love fail? Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. In today's Gospel, after making some very strong remarks about not coming to bring peace but a sword, our Lord says, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. By making this affirmation, Jesus is not in any way contradicting the first and fourth commandment of God's law, love God above all things and honor father and mother. He is simply establishing a hierarchy of love. We all know that God created the universe out of an act of pure love. He had no need to create anything or anyone. Yet through this act of creation, he bestowed upon his creatures a seal or a stamp which is called generosity. Thus, the sun shines brilliantly each day without fail, giving us all that it has. And the plants and trees produce fruit in abundance without holding back. And man, who is the masterpiece of God's creation, also bears this stamp of generosity, meaning that he was not meant to hoard things, but to share and give to others, just as God has given to us. Now, imagine a married couple where the husband is a doctor. How often is it necessary for them to spend extended periods away from each other to care for those in need? Now, can you imagine the wife forbidding her husband from going to work, arguing that since he belongs to her, he should not risk his life by helping others at the hospital? Of course not. Both husband and wife belong to God, and they are thus compelled to be generous with their lives, especially to those in need. So love fails when it becomes distorted and selfish. As our Lord laments in today's Gospel, and the love mentioned by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians, the love that never fails, is precisely the love characterized by selfless giving without calculating the cost. We receive the finest gifts from God, not to hoard for ourselves, but to share abundantly with others. Hence, in the continuation of today's Gospel, our Lord affirms that whoever gives only a cup of cold water will surely not lose his reward. Whoever gives may find your hand empty from giving so much, but that only makes it all the more open to receive greater gifts from God. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.